Hello there guys, Vincent here and welcome to another photography vlog. In my previous video, we tackled about how are you going to clean your lenses. Now, in this video, I'm going to teach you how are you going to clean the body. So let's get into it. I know a lot of you, especially for the people who are not really into photography or who are not really into photography, especially for those people who are just starting into YouTube. You have your own DSLR and you always bring it outside, right? Now, this time, I'm going to teach you how are you properly or the right way on how are you going to clean the body of your camera. So I have already teach you how are you going to clean the lenses of your camera. And now, in this video, I'm going to teach you how to clean this one. So without further ado, let's go to the things that you will be needing in order for you to clean the body. Now, now, the first thing that you're going to need is the blower. This one. Now, if you can see this one. Okay. This one, of course, is to blow the body. The second is here. I have here the ball. It's like a cotton bud, but you have to make sure that the cotton bud that you are going to use is for the baby. It's actually for the for the smaller parts of the the body here, especially on the eye part here. I don't know what I don't know what did they call this part. <laughs> Alright, now the next thing that you're going to need is the micro fiber cloth. This one and the cleaning solution and of course the brush. Right now I'm going to have this one step by step for you guys. Alright? <clears throat> Actually this camera this is the very first camera that I had, which is the EOS 60D Canon. I have been using this camera for like 6 years now. No, not actually 6 years. It's actually 7 years now. Since I had this camera, I never had a chance to clean this up. Just wipe it with any cloth that I have. So I would not suggest that one to wipe, especially in your t-shirt. Don't do that, right? have a specific cloth, especially for the expensive gears that you are having right now, right now. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is that we are going to reload this one. If there is any dust, right, so I, actually I can see a lot of dust here, especially in the bottoms here. So I'm going to blow that up. Alright, so before you blow this one, I have already blown this uh, just a little bump earlier. You have to make sure that you blow this just a little before blowing it on your lens, before blowing it on the gears. Because there's a possibility that there's a dust inside here that instead of dust is going out, you are going to introduce another dust, right? So, yeah. This one, the blower, is actually just to eliminate the large particles. Now, this time, we are done with this, by the way. This time, I'm going to use this, the microfiber cloth. So, with the use of a spray, cleaning solution. This, is, this one is a de denaturated alcohol. You have to use this one. Order for in order for this solution to dry up. Ah, I mean, you have to use this kind of solution because this solution easily dries up. You don't want to stay the solution on the gears for a long period of time. And also to the LC, there's a lot of fingerprint here. <laughs> Have to be careful guys and also I use yeah I use this one this is the pen right you have to use only this one to this side of the pen this is a pen brush I think so here you have to make sure that when you clean this you have to put this upside down, right? The position is upside down, and then slide to the mount lens here. You have to be 
very careful guys because you don't want any any particles to go into the sensor okay so in this video I'm just showing to you how you're going to clean your sensor the exterior sensor or the exterior only of the gears And by the way, this is very, very important also. You don't want to cover your gears or your camera with a dirty cover. So also, you can use this one here, especially in this part. You can use this to clean up all the, all the small parts. And then, Bring back the cap to the lens mount. Now, in here, in this part of the in this part of the body, it has a lot of dust. Now, you have to be careful because I used to think that you cannot. I when I when I when I studied in photography, I used to think that this is permanent, but I, I was wrong. You can actually detach this one to body yes Ta -da! all right we have to clean this and also this part with the use of another clean cotton bud very small it's actually for the baby all right you have to make sure that you don't spray the solution directly onto the body and even though this camera is a weather shield camera it doesn't it doesn't mean a damn thing you know? all cameras I believe all cameras are vulnerable to extreme condition so don't ever believe that your camera is a weather shield I learned that the hard way always take care of your gears Right. Even though it says that it's weather sealed, even though that it says that uh, it can take up to it, you can bring it to the extreme condition. Now, don't believe it, especially if that gear is very important or that gear is very expensive. Now, have to clean this one also. And there you have it. And also, don't forget also to clean the here. Just don't clean the the part where you just don't clean the part where the sen where the signals or the transmitter is, right? Just clean the, the metal parts that don't have the holes for the transmitter, especially for the flash. very easy to clean this one guys it's very very easy so yeah there you have it good as new <laughs> so if you have any questions so just drop your comment down below and thank you guys for watching see you next bye bye